We are in Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2 Cluster Manager, and we're trying to fail over a server. As you can see, it, it uh, did not work. We tried to fail over from Hyper-V1 to Hyper-V2. And so what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to fix this problem by going into the problem server and deleting a certain file and restarting the uh, Exchange Cluster services. So both servers that are in the cluster need to listen on TCP port 6600. So if we do telnet to the uh, first server where everything is running, space 6600, we get right through. We open up a new box, and on the server that we're on, we do a telnet to localhost 6600, and we do not get through. So we're on the, the one with the problem itself. We're going to go to the C drive. And from there, we're going to go to Windows. And then System32, followed by Group Policy. Make sure your hidden files are turned on. I go into view and then file name extensions and hidden items. All right, so let's find our group policy. There it is, it's a hidden folder. And inside there, we double click on machine. All right, now we're going to delete the registry.pol file. So just highlight that and delete it and minimize that. Now we're going to go into virtual uh, Hyper V Manager and we're going to go into uh, the virtual Hyper-V settings and from here we're going to go to live migrations we're going to uncheck that box click apply now we're going to recheck that box and click apply click OK so basically turned it off and turned it back on again and now you can see we have a new registry.pol file now let's go ahead and see if we can properly migrate by going to move, live migration, select node, hyper v2, and it still fails. So now what we're going to do is we're going to see uh, what's going on on the information details as to why it failed. So let's go ahead and highlight that. And according to this, it's not compatible. So there's a compatibility issue. So now we have another issue, which we can go ahead and solve by right clicking on the virtual machine and choosing settings. You can do this in Failover Cluster Manager or Hyper-V, it doesn't matter. Go to the processor and what we're going to do is we're going to check compatibility, but first we have to shut down that particular server. So let's go ahead and click shut down and we'll see the server shutting down shouldn't take more than a few seconds. Okay, it is now shut down. So now we can go back to our settings and go to processor compatibility check that box apply and now we'll go ahead and start it up and it's starting up shouldn't take more than a few more seconds to come up okay our server is now officially up let's see if we can move it so right click Move, Live Migration, Select Node, Hyper-V2. Okay, so now it says the error is that it cannot find Ethernet Adapter 2. So we have to go into our Virtual Switch Manager, and we see two different uh, names here. So we're going, what we're going to do is we're going to change that name so it matches the other one. So we're going to change this to be called adapter one and that uses the first one and we'll go back in and change the second one to adapter two okay and now we will try to migrate Again, move, live migration, select node, node 2. And look at that, we are migrating. Uh, 
and it's moving along. The larger circles take a little longer, smaller ones go faster. So now you have three different reasons as to why migration did not take place, and now you know how to fix them.